Hello, in this video, I'm going to show you how to create a new company using says 50 or uh, on says 50 and then how to organize the chart of accounts on says 50. I'm going to cover, I'm going to try to cover the asset accounts, liabilities, uh, and shareholder equities. Uh, so basically, uh, the balance sheet accounts I'm going to try to cover today. Uh, so let's uh, open says 50. Create a new company, not open a sample company or anything else. Create a new company and then next and then uh, put the name there as East West College. And then there is nothing else which is mandatory so you can click on next fiscal year start date if you see that on the, the opening balances are given as of november 30th so i would put november 30th as the earliest transaction date or, or this is the fiscal year start date so this should be january 1st january 1st 2020 earliest transaction is november 30th as the opening balances are given as of November 30th. And uh, you know, because the fiscal year start date was January 1st, so the fiscal year end date is December 31st. So click on next again. And the first option is have says 50 create a list of accounts based on your business type. This is the recommended one. So we would keep it as it is. Uh, click on next and then here ownership structure this company is not a sole proprietorship there is there are more than one owners and it's a corporation so incorporated company and industry type would be industry industry type would be service I would say service and then let's see what is the closest one as it's a college you know it's um, it's a college providing training you know so we are going to put uh, we're going to put generic company okay we're going to select generic company so next and then it's going to save this file on this uh, c drive that's what it is saying basically click on next and click on yes so it's going to take a while uh, okay, so it has finished creating the database so here we are now so we are going to close this here and then it's opening uh, the says 50 so this is the main menu this is the main menu so we are going to uh, see uh, the chart of accounts how it looks like what accounts are available here so to do that we can click on this company and then you see there is sort of accounts you can just click here and then view accounts okay so these are the accounts uh, that are available here okay so on the asset section current asset we have cash to be deposited cash draw petty cash uh, but we need only cash term deposit accrued interest receivable accounts receivable control allowance for doubtful accounts so these are the accounts um, to fit our requirements to fit our needs so cash is basically the bank account the checking account where day-to-day -day bank transactions happen all the transactions happen using this account so this one is actually our cash account so we can rename this as cash so we can double click here and then you know select it here and then type in cash and then say save and close okay so you see here it ends to cash do we don't need this cash to be deposited so select it and then you see remove button here you click on remove remove button it will remove from the list cash draws we don't need this account so similarly we are going to click on this button Petty cash we don't need. 
Okay, so we have this savings bank account that we don't need. Let's try to delete it and then see what happens. So we will select it and then after that we are going to click on remove. Are you sure you want to remove the account savings bank account? Yes. Okay, so it's gone. So now we have only cash account. I need term deposit account. Term deposit is just other current uh, uh, current asset. So we can um, just rename it as uh, term deposit. Double click. Term deposit. But here it is. Uh, it's it was under bank. So we need to go to this class option. And then see account class it says bank so let's change it to other asset or other current asset okay and save and close so we have cash we have term deposit now let's see we have if we have accounts receivable control so we have accounts receivable here uh, this one here 1200 so we can rename it as accounts receivable control so just add control word and save and close okay and we would need allowance for doubtful accounts we have this so we don't need to add we need accrued interest receivable so you see advances and loans we can rename it as accrued interest receivable Okay, and then the class option is uh, other receivables, so this is all right. So save and close. So we have all all of these. Now we need to see if we have inventory or not. So let's go a little down. Okay, so you see inventory assets. There are three types of inventory here. So we can just uh, keep one inventory account and delete the other ones. So let's delete this one. Inventory B and inventory C and just keep inventory A but we can rename it again we don't need this word letter A so we can just uh, keep it as inventory save and close so we have inventory how about deposits um, deposits is also other current uh, current asset so we can just uh, rename another account as deposit uh, purchase prepayment deposits are basically purpose purchase prepayment so we can rename this account as deposits okay so deposits is okay so now prepaid so we have this prepaid expense so we can just take this expense word off and then that will leave only prepaid there so we have prepaid we have inventory how about land let's see if we have land here let's go a little further down and see we, we have land 1880 is the land how about building we have building 1860 is the building and accumulated depreciation of building here it is called amo accumulated amortization uh, but in the exercise it's accumulated depreciation we can rename it a slash d of building okay we don't need to change anything else uh, okay and then um, furniture and equipment we have office furniture and equipment so just uh, edit it a little bit, you know, take that office word off. So that will leave furniture and equipment as it is. And then we can rename this one as well. Accumulated depreciation of furniture and equipment. Okay. Computer equipment. Let's see if we have computer. Okay, I, I don't see any computer equipment there, but we can add it. We can add uh, right here. Um, 
just before the vehicle or we don't have any vehicle so oh well, actually we, we might have a vehicle mm. no we don't have any vehicle so we can rename this one as a uh, computer Okay, so vehicle is uh, renamed as computer and then accumulated amortization of vehicle would be renamed as accumulated depreciation of computer. Save and close. And we have leasehold improvement. We just need accumulated depreciation of leasehold improvement. Okay, we can just add, you know, to just to add one account before this furniture and equipment, you know, you need to select this like this and then and then you see uh, there is a button here, create, you can click on that create account, it's going to assign one number which is just before that 1820, which is, which is 1815, so we can rename it as, we can name it as accumulated depreciation of leasehold improvements accumulated depreciation of leasehold improvement okay so that's all uh, there now let's see what else do we have we have uh, our liabilities account let's go into the liabilities section okay we need accounts payable control we have accounts payable we can rename it as accounts payable control just adding just by adding control word save and close we need accrued accounts payable so you know you can rename this one as accrued accounts accrued accounts payable accrued accounts payable save and close and gst payable we have GST uh, payable, income taxes payable. Um, this is corporate tax payable. This is income tax payable. This should be the income tax payable related to your uh, payroll, not for the business itself. It's for the payroll. So just check that federal off. And then it, income tax payable, CPP payable we have, EI payable we have. Uh, holiday pay payable is basically vacation payable so we can rename it we can rename it as uh, holiday pay payable okay so that's fine so you see there is a corporate taxes payable and we need that so that's fine um, GST payable. So let's go further down. Deferred revenue. Deferred revenue is though the word revenue is there, it's not actually a revenue account. It's a liability account. That's why it is sitting under the liabilities section. So if it is not available there already, we need to add this account. So these are basically your uh, liabilities account. So we can we don't need this bank advance. So we can rename it as deferred revenue. So deferred revenue is there mortgage payable visa payable we don't need visa payable we can just rename it as mortgage payable mortgage payable save and close okay shareholder loan we need uh, these two uh, loan accounts shareholder loan accounts so um, we can just rename these two Mastercard payable and American Express payable as uh, 
as those uh, two accounts so so one shareholder account is uh, called um, share as you know we have to add two shareholder loan accounts one is for Arif Choudhury and the other one is for M. Laskar so we're just going to um, edit this one as shareholder shareholder loan shareholder loan M. Laskar save and close and then I can add one more or, or, or we can remove I already added mortgage payable before so I can rename this mortgage payable as shareholder loan Arif Choudhury so we can just double click here and then rename it as shareholder shareholder loan Arif Choudhury so save and close now we have to add these uh, shareholder equity accounts um, we have these uh, we have these accounts already available here you see share capital common share preferred share retained earnings um, uh, uh, current earnings so dividends we don't have dividends here so we need to add this uh, this account called dividend so we we have uh, selected this current current earnings we can just uh, add one more account here create this new account called dividend uh, which is here you know i just type in the word dividend and then the number of that account is 3580 which is all right so dividend would appear there 